This is Sonia. She is an eight and a half year old Belgian Malinois and her uh, specific job with the police department is to search for explosives and guns. Sonia and canine officer Kevin Stickford have been working together for seven and a half years. You might find them sweeping for bombs before a Taylor Swift concert, or at a Colts game, or even for a presidential visit. It takes lots of training to keep their skills sharp. On the department, for example, um, with our bomb dogs, we train one to three times a month specifically for that. We'll have three all-day trainings. They really enjoy working. Right, That's, right. Um, I think they're, they're, they're happiest when they are out working. Here at Five Points Kennel, Officer Stickford demonstrates how Sonya works. There are some different backpacks out. Look it up. Uh, look at four of the backpacks are what we term blank. There's nothing in them. One of the uh, backpacks is loaded and it does have explosives in it. Good girl! And when she finds the pack? She will give a passive indication by sitting and she'll be rewarded with her toy because these dogs, when they locate something, that is their reward, is right. their toy. Their toy. I think a lot of people think, oh, all police dogs are trained the same. That is incorrect. Sonia or any of our other um, bomb dogs that we have on our department are what we term single purpose dogs. The only thing we do with her is explosives and gun detection. That's why Malinois make up 45% of the force. All of our explosives dogs are extremely social with people, children, that they've been to hundreds of events and they are used to that. Golly, Sonia, I wish you were a little more friendly. Yeah, I wish you were a little more friendly. You're so scary looking. But so don't be fooled by her sunny what disposition. Caring for a Malinois is not easy. She's like a two-year-old child on crack. Um, th that is probably the best way that I can describe a Malinois because they are all over the place. They're 100 miles an hour. 24-7. If someone came across a Belgian Malinois in a kennel setting or up for adoption, they need to know and have a lot of experience with dogs. It took Sonia a long time to get used to children when we go to different events. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I would caution people in picking out a Belgian Malinois for a house pet. As we like to say, it's important to know your breed. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.